Yo, what is up guys, Delboy here. A quick preview for a heavyweight fight that doesn't really have any implications on the division, but I see it as a fun fight, and one that could be a good watch. That fight is between Robert Hellanius and Gerald Washington. Now, let's talk about both guys briefly. We will start with Robert Hellanius. At one point, this guy was seen as a big prospect in the heavyweight division. On the come up, he beat guys like Lamon Brewster, Samuel Peter, and Sergei Lyakovich. And at one point, he was seen as part of the next generation to take over once the Klitschko brothers got done doing their thing. But it never really panned out. In December 2011, Robert Hellanius fought Derek Chisora. Now, Hellanius won this fight by a split decision, but this is when things started to go wrong for Hellanius. First and foremost, people saw that fight as a robbery. Most people who saw that fight felt Derek Chisora clearly won it. I felt Chisora won it, but in that fight, Hellanius picked up, I believe, a hand injury, which kept him out of the ring for quite some time. And basically ever since that fight against Chizora, Hellanius has picked up numerous other injuries and he's never captured that early career form. And since that Chizora fight, he's also picked up a couple of losses, a knockout loss to Johan Duharpus and also a wide points loss to Dillian White. And in other fights against less than stellar opposition, he has struggled to impress. So basically, Hellanius is the once promising prospect who's had numerous injury issues and also promotional issues. Basically, it's never really panned out. Having said that, he is coming into this Washington fight with a bit of momentum. He's coming off a semi-decent win over Erkin Tepper. I felt he performed quite well in that fight. He scored a really good knockout in that Tepper fight, and it was a good fight to watch. If you've not seen it, take a look. Last time I checked, it was on YouTube, so give that fight a watch. It's certainly worth your time. So at least Hellanius is going in there in some type of form. Gerald Washington, on the other hand, I mean, again, he's a guy who in the past was seen as a bit of a prospect. He's a decent boxer. He actually started boxing fairly late. I believe he was a footballer, if I'm not mistaken, an American footballer. And yeah, he, he picked up boxing late and he made a decent run of it. He got a couple of decent results in his career. He got a draw to Amir Mansour when Mansour was still relevant. He also has a points win over Eddie Chambers. But apart from that, there's really not much there. And when this guy has stepped up to elite level, he's been knocked out. He got knocked out in his one and only heavyweight title challenge against Deontay Wilder. He actually started that fight fairly well. He outboxed Deontay Wilder for the first three to four rounds. He was winning that fight, but he got caught and Deontay Wilder finished him. The fight after that, he fought Jarrell Miller mm. and he basically got walked down and beaten up and he got stopped late on. And in his most recent fight in January 2019, he got blitzed by Adam Kalnatsky. He really got destroyed in that fight. So every time Washington has stepped up, he's failed. Hellanius, yes, he's come unstuck at a higher level, but he's picked up better results at a higher level than Gerald Washington. And also, he's coming into this fight in better form. For me, Gerald Washington seems like that type of fighter where if you give him time and space and respect, he will box well. He'll pop that jab, he'll move around you, and he'll, he'll fight in a good rhythm. But if you apply any type of pressure on Gerald Washington, this guy will fall to bits. To me, he doesn't deal with pressure too well. I'm not really sold on his chin, and even his gas tank, I think, leaves a lot to be desired. Now, you can throw some of those same flaws at Robert Hellanius. You know, bad gas tank, bad chin, not a great defence. But to me, Hellanius has shown out and done better at a higher level. You know, on the come up, he picked up wins, like I said, over the likes of Samuel Peter, over the likes of Sergei Lyakovich, 
and Lamont Brewster. And even in recent times, he has a win over Erkan Tepper, who in my opinion is better than anybody Gerald Washington has beaten. I know Eddie Chambers is a good name, but Chambers had no interest in that fight. He was pretty much done in sparring partner mentality. So I think that Tepper win was a better win. So yeah, ultimately, I do favour Robert Hellenius in this fight. I favour him to get a stoppage win. Robert Hellenius, for one thing, does have genuine punching power. Now that has diminished in recent years after he's picked up those hand injuries. But if he connects, he can knock you out, as we saw against Erkan Tepper. And even that Dillian White fight, he badly hurt Dillian White early on in that fight. So, listen, Hellenius's power is real, despite it not being what it once was. Ultimately, I am favouring Hellenius, and I believe he will knock out Gerald Washington. I do believe Washington has a chance. Ultimately, this fight is in the United States. It's in his home country, and maybe Washington can box on the back foot, pop that jab, vary it from body to head. Maybe he can outbox Robert Hellenius, but we will see. You know, I believe Hellenius wins this fight. I just think he has a bit more to offer than Gerald Washington at this stage. Now, I know this fight doesn't do a lot for a lot of people, but at the same time, you know, for what it is, it's quite a fun fight. Are any of these guys going to be a heavyweight champion? Absolutely not. But it's not always about that. Sometimes it's just about seeing a good scrap. And I believe this fight has that potential. Share your thoughts below. Tell me how you see this fight going. Peace.